There are moments in our lives where we sense a need for change. And at those times, we're called to make choices about where to put our loving energies. It's as if we can sense that there's an uh, internal aspiration that's rising up that wishes to be born. Although it's understood that at the highest level of consciousness, life is living us. It's a happening. It's an unfoldment that's automatic. But in another sense, we are, as Madonna famously said, material girls living in a material world or physical beings living in a physical world. And in the physical world, we are empowered to intend. An intention is a simple statement of resolve. It's an expression of where you wish to place your energies. An intention could be seen as a seed that you wish to plant. But for the seed to grow, it must be tended. It must be tended in order for it to germinate, to grow as a plant, and to ultimately flower in your life. Frequently, when we set resolutions at a uh, New Year's times, fairly quickly we tend to forget the importance of tending our resolutions. Your resolution for uh, a good outcome must be placed high on your set of priorities. The most powerful and effective intentions arise from sitting in the stillness of meditation from the state of sitting in silent awareness, your heart can inform you of the form that the one wishes to see uh, emerging for your highest good. Trust the intelligence of this. When you create an intention statement, keep it short and sweet. Simplicity is something that your brain can grab a hold of. And phrasing your intention as if it has already happened doesn't leave the one wondering. Put your feelings behind your intention because it gives it an emotional power that makes your intention uh, more potent. If you can't see your intention happening in your own imagination, it's likely that it won't. You can't underestimate the power of imagination. So clearly imagining your intention with all the senses helps to anchor it into reality. Also, it's very helpful to write your intentions down. Imagine your intention clarifying down to one word. And imagine writing this word like a tattoo on the back of your hand with the kind of invisible ink that we had during our childhood that would glow and become visible in the heat of our own awareness. Finally, a good gardener must tend the seed of intention with actions that support the manifestation of the intention. If weeds are not pulled, nourishment not added, and if the plant is not watered, it will not flourish in your life.